I think felt like early April today. Yeah, not December for sure. And mm. while it's pleasant, right, those looking to kind of cash in on the cold and snow, they're out of luck. On your side's Chris Oswalt looked at how some area ski businesses are dealing with warm weather. Michelle and Don, after a record-breaking snow back in November, hopes for an early ski season were pretty high at Bogus Basin. But as those temperatures rose, the hope dwindled. Travel up to Bogus Basin and you won't be greeted by the sound of ski lifts. Instead, all that howls is the wind. The lack of snow atop the mountain has things at a standstill. We've hired a lot of seasonal workers and they're just waiting to go to work. Bogus's general manager, Alan Moore, says work won't start until there's a significant amount of snow. He's hoping for something like what we saw back in November. Uh, we've got everything ordered. Uh, we've got food up there. We've got, uh, we've got patrollers. We, you know, we're all set to go. We just need, a, we just need another storm. Get rid of the age. Down the mountain at Greenwood Ski House, Jeff Leverance is hoping for snow as well. But with a temperature like 44 degrees at Bogus, the thought of snow may be just a dream for now. Yeah, it doesn't look promising, but it, it's coming. It's coming. We're always, we're always optimistic about it. Jeff says the warmer weather isn't keeping ski enthusiasts away. The November snow got many in the ski spirit. November being you know, real strong, people got kind of ready at that point in time instead of waiting till December. And things don't seem to be letting up. Business was bustling at Greenwoods Wednesday, and Jeff says this is just the start. But once the mountain opens, then we get a real big rush as well. So for the love of the season and our own Roland Barris' ski desire, Roland gets really stressed about the ski season. <laughs> I'm starting already, I'm afraid. Yeah. Let's all thank snow. Just keep the faith. It's coming. Now for you diehard skiers and maybe Roland, Sun Valley is already open, and I'm told business is actually doing pretty good. Tamarack is scheduled to open this weekend, but that's just the beginner hill. Live in studio, Chris Oswald, today 6 on your side.